messages still are completely secure end-to-end -end encryption that means that when you are sending messages over whatsapp regardless of where you live in the world regardless of any privacy changes that they've announced your messages are still secure they cannot see inside those messages they cannot read your messages for whatsapp to be able to see those messages they need a public key which they have on the server but they also need the private key which you have on your phone and unless they have both those keys, no one can actually look into those messages other than you and the person that receives it. What they're saying is they're gonna collect additional information about people that use WhatsApp outside of the UK and Europe. So for viewers that live outside of the UK and Europe in some of the uh, more Middle Eastern countries and other countries around the world, WhatsApp is going to collect more data about you and they're going to share that with Facebook. And the reason they want to do that is because they want it to be easier for WhatsApp business users to target you with messages. Eventually, WhatsApp want to make it so easy for you to do business that you can go on your WhatsApp and you can buy products and services from small and medium sized businesses that are on WhatsApp with a click of a button. That's what they plan to do. WhatsApp have really misunderstood, and I think big tech firms in general have really misunderstood how much people value their privacy. And one of the things that people would argue is if you're not going to pay for something with money, you're usually paying by giving up your privacy, and they'd be quite accurate. Now, the, the trend here we see is a lot of people are migrating to platforms that collect less information about them. So Signal is a very popular alternative that a lot of people have jumped to. Although a lot of people are downloading and um, starting to use additional apps, I haven't really seen a lot of people leaving WhatsApp. And the people that are promoting people to leave WhatsApp and go to um, Signal or Telegram or, or Threema, uh, the alternatives, when you ask them what is it that you're actually worried about, they can't really explain what it is that they think they're giving up or what the harm is. And some people have a misunderstanding that WhatsApp can now see into their messages, see their videos, see their pictures, which is definitely not the case. And in any case, if you live in UK or if you live in Europe, there is no changes happening to the way your data is being collected and shared because you are protected by the general data protection regulations.